This is Chronicle of Infinity. Looks pretty fucking cool, though I highly doubt it would the gameplay would be anything like this. I played enough mobile games to know how this shit goes. But let us start anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm sure it's not gonna be as cool as it looks. But it looks like uh, what is that game for PC? Fuck. Uh Warhammer. Yep, it looks like Warhammer. Warhammer is pretty cool. So this guy is the Agile Swordsman. This guy is what is he? Oh, he's a dragon rider. And there's this chick who is a sorceress. Why can I not be a male sorcerer? That's fucking weird. I mean, maybe not a sorcerer, but at least a wizard. Hmm, should I take this guy? He's a bit too close range for my liking. This guy is pretty cool. He's fast too. I'll, I'll take him. Eh, I don't care about customization. I've, I've wasted enough time on customization. Discussion parent, Aerith. Back to login? Welcome to Chronicle of Infinity. This is the last fortress of the universe, Astrapolis. We need you to protect our homeworld. It was super weird. It just like threw me out of the game and it just like uh, it didn't crash. It, n it didn't necessarily crash. It just like didn't allow me to log into the game for some reason. It was throwing me back on the main screen again and again, but okay. Tap on the quest tab and claim quests from Magnus the Sage. Oh, he's not gonna talk? Okay. How come you've, uh, you're you back alone? Where's the where's Leon the Astral King? Is he? Alb, since the beheading operation failed, we need to deal with that with what's at hand. The enemy is launching an attack and we urgently need a victory to stabilize the troops' morale. With Leon gone, I hope you'll act on his wishes and continue to fight. I, that's a little bit loaded. Uh, we are just straight going into this shit, but okay. Yeah, yeah. May claim your mission rewards now. Very simple awesome way of speaking. Awesome weapon. She's that awesome weapon. The animations are pretty cool, but <laughs> but the voice acting is hilarious, honestly. Um, oh, I I really am confused about these story, these sort of games, you know. So it's just like auto questing. Yeah, I I don't care about the story to be honest with you. It's like you go talk to someone and they throw money at you and essentially. It's like, Tap go do, now and defeat the yeah, yeah, yeah. Army. So, see, these sort of games are great for their animation. The one thing about these sort of games, I hate for the story. I hate for everything else, honestly. But the animation in these games are just impeccable. They look great, absolutely brilliant, honestly, if you ask me. And the combat is, eh, just combat is okay-ish. But honestly, with most of these games, they have auto combat or something. And it's like, look at how slow he's going. Where's the agile swordsman going? Only when he, like, he moves so slow. Where's the fun in that? All right, fine. You do you, I suppose. But yeah, this is just, uh, what is that? Okay, it's a multi thing attack whatever who cares um yeah i would like the agile swordsman to walk a little bit faster than that because uh, you know the as i said animation is the best part about this game but at least at least you know speed up the characters a little bit that, that makes it a little bit more fun where did that come from the hell i thought it was just gonna jump uh, in a bounce or something they're just popping out of thin air the animation though i love it in these sort of games Okay, we, need, we definitely need to get out of that area. Oh, he already is dead. I didn't even think of that. I thought he was charging up a fucking super attack or something. Uh, that was weird. That was fucking weird. The animation is great. The characters look great. Story? I don't understand. I don't even care to read, honestly, what the hell they are saying about the story. A little loaded, to be honest with you. And um, logging in was a pain in the ass, honestly. There's no, like music in this section of the game the only thing i like is just the aesthetics the way the game looks another thing i like is the what is it called um the animations other than that like even the combat is so trash like if our character moved super fast i would say that it would look great I hate games when they give you uh, like quest rewards with, for just like Walmart. talking someone. I don't now. care, don't Tower care. Yep, cool. Power up my skill upgrade. Uh, I don't know. Story quest. Go. I don't care about the story's actual quest, but I'll take it. Uh, go now. 
So that's quick challenge to select a stage automatically. Yeah, yeah, automatically. Cool. So I'm just gonna play this last stage. After that, this sort of game is a uh, not exactly my type of shit. Was that the challenge stage? Please do not tell me that was the challenge stage. What is that? What is that? Okay. Wow, that is pr that. See, this is what I'm saying. Animation is the fucking strong bit of this. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, I'm doing this. I guess that's for like when you get surrounded. Huh. There we go. That takes care of that. And we're gonna drop this right on top of us when these guys are in. And the boss has appeared. There we go. I think he's gonna do a super attack. Okay, I did not manage to get out of that range fast enough. Okay, he just died. See, animation is great, the look is great, everything is great. But the it's just it just doesn't like Yeah, it's it's not fulfilling is the case. It looks great, the animation's fucking fun, and like the attack patterns look cool. But f to be honest with you, most of the time I'm just spamming a straight button and it's just like it's kind of boring and it's just throwing me money like honestly like it's, it gives me money for like when I talk to an NPC then that NPC is like go talk to the other guy and then I go talk to him and then I get I, then I get money and then it's like go to the mission and you finish the mission then you get money then you tell the guy I finished the mission then you get money and it's just like yeah, you know the value of money it just goes down the fucking drain at that point so these are the games uh, this game this specific game looks great it's smooth, fantastic. The well, the complaints I have is the story. I really don't give a shit about because they didn't do it proper. I mean, I don't even feel like reading because of the way the game is designed. Uh, usually, you should know I love reading story in these sort of games, any sort of game really. But yeah, this this one doesn't really hit that fucking point for me. Um, so yeah, there's a link in the description if you like playing these sort of games, so please go ahead. I know some people do because there's like these games have millions in downloads, so people are definitely playing them. There's no way everyone is fucking reviewing the game. But yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.